Hello traders, in this video we're going to walk you through on how to remove and reinstall an indicator. As a reminder, trading does carry significant risk and all information in this video is provided for educational purposes only and is not offer or recommendation to trade future stocks, options, or forex. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is have NinjaTrader open, access your control panel, go to Tools, go to Remove NinjaScript Assembly, and go ahead and click on that. It'll bring up this window that you see here. I have a lot of tools loaded on here, so go down to your specific tool that you want to go ahead and remove. I'm going to go ahead and remove this RSD tool, but this works for any other tools here, any indicator. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that, and then click Remove. It's going to have this window that's going to ask you if you're sure about removing it. Go ahead and click Yes, and then it'll go ahead and start that process. After a few seconds, you'll see this window saying that it was successfully removed. Go ahead and click OK. You can go ahead and close this window now. You can see the indicator is not there. And then go ahead and close NinjaTrader. With NinjaTrader closed, go ahead and open up your File Explorer. And then go to your Documents folder. Go to NinjaTrader 8. Go to Templates, go to Chart, and scroll through, and you may not have any templates here, so you may not find anything. But if you come here and you see a template relative to your the RSD tool, for instance, so if you have a template that you had set up for the chart that was uh, used for the RSD tool or any other tool that you're removing, go ahead and remove that template here. I don't have any of those templates here. So I can go ahead and back out of this. The next one I want to go ahead and go to is down to indicator. Now this is for any type of template that I have set up for an indicator. I'm going to come down here. If I have anything relative to the tool's name that I'm removing, then I'll have to go ahead and remove it. Again, I was removing the NCAT RSD tool. You can see here I don't have any of those files. So if you do have any of those files, let's say I was removing the golden reversal line, I would go ahead and remove this file. I'll just go ahead and left click or right click, excuse me, and delete it. All right, so I don't have any of that there. So again, you're going to go to Documents, NinjaTrader 8, Templates, and you're going to ask access Charts and Indicators. And if you have any templates in the chart relative to the indicator you're removing, go ahead and delete that file. Same thing for indicator. Once you're done, go ahead and close this window and reopen NinjaTrader. Now with NinjaTrader open, we can go ahead and reinstall the tool. So go to Tools now, go to Import, go to NinjaScript Add-on. It'll go ahead and bring up your File Explorer here once again. Go ahead and locate the zip file, the NCAT zip file that you want to go ahead and import. Go ahead and double click. It's going to automatically go ahead and start the process of importing that indicator. Just give it a few seconds to go ahead and process. You'll see this window that says successfully imported all scripts contained in the NinjaScript archive file. Go ahead and click OK. Now go ahead and close NinjaTrader one more time and then reopen it. Now with NinjaTrader reopened, go ahead and open up a chart. And it could be any chart. Let's go ahead and open up the MES. And now with the new chart open, go ahead and right click and go into indicators. It may take a second for the window to go ahead and pop up. You're going to go down to the NCAT tools, and we were working with the RSD tool. And there it is. You can go ahead and double click and put it in the configured box. If you do have an order ID at this point, you can go ahead and put in your order ID and then click OK. Now the steps we outlined are for any indicator. You don't just have these aren't just steps for the RSD indicator. You can take these steps with any indicator if you need to remove it and reinstall it. 